Hello, and welcome to the presentation of our exciting latest work on differentiable sorting networks for scalable sorting and ranking supervision. I am Felix Peterson, and this is joint work with my collaborators Christian Borwitt, Hilde Kühne, and Oliver Deussen. Sorting and ranking supervision enable training neural networks based on ordering constraints instead of absolute ground truth values. This has gained a lot of attention in recent research. Sorting networks, which have already been proposed in the 1950s, are classic sorting algorithms with a fixed execution structure based on comparators that only require the minimum and maximum operations. We combine these concepts and propose continuously relaxing sorting networks by relaxing min and max to soft min and soft max. To prevent vanishing gradients and reduce blurring, we propose the activation replacement trick that maps activations into regions with moderate gradients. In addition, we show that our method is scalable to differentially sorting more than 1,000 elements and producing gradients that allow for effective training. To train a neural network with sorting and ranking supervision, a set of data points, here concatenated MNIST digits, and the underlying order in form of a permutation matrix Q are given. Here, for each image, the neural network produces a value. Then the values for all images are fed into a differentiable sorting algorithm, which produces a differentiable permutation matrix P. Using a cross-entropy objective, the differentiable permutation matrix P is enforced to equal the ground truth permutation matrix Q, which allows training the neural network. The trained neural network should then be able to predict scalar values, which preserve the order with respect to the ground truth order. Recently, three differentiable sorting algorithms have been presented. Neural sort by Grover et al. at iClear, optimal transport sort by Couturier et al. at Europe's, and fast differentiable sorting and ranking by Bondel et al. at the last ICML. So, how do sorting networks sort? Sorting networks use comparators to swap two elements if they're not in the correct order. For this, they require only the min and max operations. The displayed or even sorting network sorts by comparing neighbors until the entire sequence is sorted. There is also the faster bitonic sorting network, which leverages the divide and conquer principle and sorts sequences in a log square parallel time. Now that we have a sorting network, we want to make it differentiable. For that, we relax the min and max operations to soft min and soft max. With that, we obtain a differential permutation matrix for each layer, which can be multiplied to obtain the differential permutation matrix for the full sorting network which we can use for training. But for sorting large sets with very deep sorting networks, vanishing gradients as well as extensive blurring can occur. We solve this by proposing the activation replacement trick before feeding the values into the logistic sigmoid function of the softmax operation. This maps the activations into regions with moderate gradients. This can also be seen when considering the distributions of inputs to the sigmoid function. Here, the distribution is mapped to a bimodal distribution with both a density of 0 at point 0 as well as shorter tails. We experimentally evaluate our method on the four-digit MNIST sorting benchmark, which is set up as shown before. Here, n is the number of elements to be ranked by the neural network during training. At test time, we consider the exact match accuracy of rankings, which is the metric highlighted in orange. Differential sorting networks outperform all previous methods for all sequence lengths. We extend this benchmark to SVHN, which is a more realistic dataset. Here, our method also outperforms existing relaxations of the sorting function. We also evaluate model performance for different intensities of the activation replacement trick, that is, for multiple lambdas. This shows that the activation replacement trick improves the performance considerably as the accuracy increases for larger lambdas. For lambdas close to 1, however, the activation replacement trick maps all values too close to plus minus 1, which in this extreme form hinders training. We also performed large-scale MNIST experiments to show that training with larger input sets improves overall performance. To keep the evaluation consistent between set sizes, here we train with a large n but evaluate for n equals 5. The performance increases for larger n and it can handle at least 1024 elements without degrading the training performance. Thank you very much for your attention and check out our code on GitHub.